what can parents do well the obvious thing is to be supportive your child will be really cool about this and say yeah yeah yeah, we know what we're doing but secretly they are petrified going to university is a mixture of excitement and terror so you know your kids best and you need to take whatever approach your kids need they're likely to be to give you the impression they're cooler about it than they actually are and if they're too laid back about it they're not taking seriously they're not taking it seriously so what you can do is ask them what they ha want help with and sort of pursue that don't give up on that you know which plates are you taking how many knives and forks you know have you got an ensuite toilet or are you sharing a toilet you know those sorts of things so you should try and give them some agency or quite a bit of agency in planning for university because this is going to be their life um, that's opening up but you need to understand that they're not very experienced at life just yet so you can use your experience to help them prepare for it do they know how to use a washing machine have they ever been to a laundrette those sorts of things my number one son frequently rings us um, from the laundrette for uh, on the spot advice about what he can wash with what that sort of thing you know do they know to do coloured wash separately from a white wash these sorts of things are sort of fairly obvious but why would a, a teenage child know that you know and not all of them have used a washing machine as much as they should have done anyway Another important thing, if they're self-catering, do they have a repertoire of healthy meals and a decent cookbook? If they don't have a repertoire of healthy meals, you can spend time between now and September helping them to establish a repertoire of healthy meals you know every every student should be able to make um i don't know a, a vegetable pasta sauce or a spaghetti bolognese or something like that i would say they need equipping with five meals that they can do and perhaps one that they can do for other people as well that they can cater at length so because some students you know they get into a friendly flat and they decide one person cooks for each night of the week or whatever do they know how to shop at a market? Now, my daughter told me not to not to, to include this, but I actually think this is really important. Leicester, the city of Leicester, has one of the biggest outdoor markets in Western Europe. It is vast. Gary Lineker used to work on it. That's how famous it is. And if the student gets themselves a backpack, they can wander down to Leicester Market and buy vast amounts of cheap and healthy food quite quite cheaply. Um, and that would, uh, especially for people seriously who are vegans or vegetarians, you know, it's a really good way of getting your hand on a lot of fresh, unprocessed foods. But have they ever been to shop at a market? Do they know how to work out the prices? Do they have enough cash? You know, this sort of thing. So those are just a few little ideas to get parents started on what you can do. Now, I, a, a slight word of warning here because I'm very, I'm absolutely delighted to be talking to you today about what um, what you and your and your uh, student children can expect. But once they get to university, the university will not automatically have a relationship with you because, of course, we must respect your childhood, your child's adult and independence. Sorry, adulthood and independence because they will be an adult. So. We do get um, parents getting in touch with us and asking us to let them know how their children are getting on, but we can't tell them because our relationship is with their adult child. But on a serious note, if your child is vulnerable in any way, particularly if they have health issues, you can in advance set up a system whereby they give permission for us to talk to you in a crisis. This doesn't need to be um, automatic. You don't have to do it if you want. And some, some of your student children won't want you to do this. But I'll give you a really good example. Recently, I received an email from a, a dad of one of my students to say his son was in intensive care. Clearly, I needed to know more about this. And so I needed permission um, to talk to his dad, which I received and I was able to talk to his dad and work out a way that the university could monitor the situation and support his child. But bear in mind, um, your children have got to be able to make their own way and we will not talk to you before we talk to them. And that's um, that a lot of parents find that quite tough, but you will appreciate that um, that this is the first step of your children's adult life. And we need to respect that, especially as it's the university that has a relationship with the child.